Vikings and welcome back to VTV Live. I'm Ainsley Bennett and we would like to start off today by making a correction and give credit to Daniel Akshikin for making last week's music video. This week we'll be covering some general updates, world news, featuring a student made music video, learning about Persian New Year, and lastly a senior spotlight on Chase Rice. Stay tuned Vikings because we have a lucky show for you today. I got you going so far, keep running away from me. He says you know who you are, you keep it so sweet. Are you recording? All right. Sweet. Okay, welcome to your 2020, 2020, 2020s, man. Welcome to your 2020, 2020, 2020s, man. Welcome to your 2020, 2020, 2020s, man. Welcome to your 20s, 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 man. Welcome all seniors were submitted for a Cal Grant electronically, so students do not need to apply individually or fill out any paperwork. Please visit the link below for more information. Now let's take to Sophia for some update with world news and current events. Hi Vikings, I'm Sophia, and welcome back to another week of world news. Today we will be discussing a variety of topics, so stay tuned. The first story we will be talking about is the intense sandstorm that recently hit China's capital city. Those living in the city awoke to yellow skies this past Monday. This sandstorm is the biggest China has seen in a decade. NBC News states that the visibility in the capital was reduced to less than 1,000 meters, or 3,300 feet. There were large amounts of traffic and more than 400 flights going in and out of the capital were canceled. One Beijing resident said, it looks like the end of the world. In order to stop dust storms this extreme, China has been attempting to create what they call the Great Green Wall. In order to do this, the Chinese government has been trying to reforest and restore the ecology of the region in an attempt to limit how much sand is blown through the capital. The second story we will be discussing is the Thai Navy sailors that rescued cats from a sinking ship that was engulfed in flames. Photos of the Royal Thai Navy that were shared on Facebook show the cats huddling together on the hull of the boat. A first class officer told Fox News, I used my camera to zoom in on the boat and saw one or two cats popping their heads out. More photos that were shared show one of the sailors wearing a life vest while swimming out to help the cat. After he swam to them, he put them on his shoulders and swam them to safety. The last story we'll be covering is on James Cameron's adventure film Avatar. This film was a success when it originally came out in theaters in 3D, starting the new era of 3D technology. As years went by, this film held the record for the most money made at box office. That is, until Avengers Endgame was re released and brought in a total of approximately $2.8 billion. James Cameron at the time commended those who worked on Avengers Endgame, but he still had a secret plan that was just finally revealed. Avatar was just recently reissued in China and it gained $21 million. Add that to the crazy amount of money it had already made and that gives you a total of $2.81 billion. This 3D adventure has once again gained its spot at the top. James Cameron does not only find new discovery, but also new opportunities. You have not heard the last of him as he will return with four more Avatar films. Well, Vikings, that's all the news we have for you today. Stay tuned because we have a fantastic show for you today. As you all know, hybrid learning will begin Monday, March 29th. Cohorts A will be in person Monday, Tuesday, and cohorts B will be in person Thursday, Friday. When it is not your cohort, you must attend through Zoom. More information regarding hybrid learning will be coming soon. Now we'd like to showcase a student-made music video by Haley Kaffer. Isaac Clarissa. Oh. Every time she walks in a room, it's the same thing. Oh, come on. That's it. Listen, I have had enough. I am had enough of what? Had I enough am of what? going back to my mother. Oh, okay? come on. Oh, please. It's been two months, and I cannot. Plus, you're going to drive 300 miles. I was listening to the ocean I saw a face in the sand But when I picked it up Then it vanished away from my hands Done. I had a dream I was seven Climbing my way in a tree I saw a piece of heaven Waiting and patient and I was running far away Would I run off the wall someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows and I was
was dancing in the rain I felt alive and I can't complain But no, take me home Take me home where I belong I can't take it anymore I was painting a picture The picture was a painting of you And for a moment I thought you were happy But then again it wasn't and all this time I have been lying Oh, lying in secret to myself I've been putting sorrow on the forest plates On my shelf la -di -da. And I was running far away Would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows And I was dancing in Saturday, March 20th, Valencia Choir is hosting their drive-in performance movie, Last Night of Winter, Clear Blue Morning. There will be two shows, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. and 8 to 9 p.m. Tickets are sold, $25 per car, and can be bought through Eventbrite. Let's take a quick commercial. Please be ready to pause and then scan the links for purchasing tickets. Saturday is also Persian New Year. Kiana is here to teach us about the New Year's traditions. Salam, as my man Kiana, I want to talk about the New Year's tradition. Hi Vikings, my name is Kiana Pelusi, and I'm here to tell you all about the Persian New Year and traditions we go through every year. The Persian New Year, also known as Noruz, is on March 21st, going based off on the Iranian calendar introducing the first day of spring. 
There are many traditions that follow through with the preparing for the new year. For example, the last Tuesday before the new year, we celebrate with an event called Charshamba Sudi, translating to the Red Celebration, where we play music and eat yummy foods. Further than ending the night, jumping over fire to help cleanse all the bad memories, basically giving us a clean slate. Another thing we prepare for for the new year is that we set up a table called a half scene, which is the arrangement of seven symbolic items whose names start with the letter S in Farsi. These are the seven symbolic items. We have a Seeb, which is a symbol of beauty, Sabze, which is symbol of rebirth and growth, Samanu, which is symbol of power and strength, Senjed, which is the symbol of love, Somach, which is a symbol of sunrise, Serke, which is a symbol of patience, Sir, which is a symbol of health and medicine. Some other things on the table we include are some gold coins, which represents wealth and prosperity, a clock, meaning the symbol of time, eggs, representing the symbol of fertility, a mirror, representing the symbol of self-reflection, and finally, a candle, representing enlightenment. Well, Vikings, I hope you enjoyed learning more about the Persian New Year. As always, happy no news. Now, let's take it back to the host. Seniors, come have lunch, listen to music, and hang out with friends on campus on Tuesday at 1.30. Sign up today in groups of 12 or less and use the link on the screen. Masks and social distance will be required. Attention dancers, if you are interested in trying out for the Valencia Dance Team 2021-2022, please visit the link on the screen and fill out the form. Now we'd like to highlight this week's senior, Chase Rice. Good morning, Vikings. I'm Chase Rice, and I'm today's Senior Spotlight. I tumble rocks. Um, um, I want to be a history major, uh, and I play on the Valencia golf team. Um, my mental health journey has been rocky at best. Um, I've gotten through some pretty tough situations, but overall it's made me grow as a person and honestly I wouldn't be here if I didn't have those terrible situations happen. I remember I had a, uh, a terrible, terrible breakup and uh, I got in my head too much and I thought that that would be the end of the world for me. But I put things in hindsight, and I got out of this bubble, and I looked at the world as a whole, and I realized that that tiny little moment doesn't define me as a person. Um, I've tried to see things in a more positive light. I haven't been, um, I guess, sulkish. I haven't really looked at things in a negative lights. I've tried to always see the silver lining and that's made me feel amazing. Um, it's all a mentality. You just have to see things until you believe it, basically. Um, I see a psychiatrist every few months, and um, I went through therapy for a little while, um, but reaching out to your friends and your family is most important. Uh, communication, I wish I knew that sooner, in hindsight. Um, keep fighting. Keep on going. People want you to be here. People want you to be in their lives. Um, and remember never to give up. <laughs> I plan to go to Channel Islands to study uh, general history. And um, after that, I hope to get some sort of job in archaeology or in a museum. Enjoy things while it lasts. Um, this won't last forever. I wish I knew that freshman year. Um, enjoy every little bit, the hardships, the good things that happen. Uh, but most importantly, never forget your roots. Never forget who you are. Um, and carry that thought throughout high school. And you'll have a great time. If you or anyone else needs assistance for your mental health and wellness, just know that the school provides a surplus of free resources and so does the internet. Stay healthy, Vikings. Thank you for speaking with us, Chase. That's all the news we have for you today, Vikings. We hope to see you for next week's show. 
बाय बाय किंग्स